plural, Zodvem, mighty ones, is translated as gods. Gods. This word, Achar, I'll show you how I use this dictionary. Alf, Het, Resh. Because the plural is plural. So the root of it is Achar. So you have to know the sequence. There's Aleph, Vav, so I know it's a few more letters past. There's a Yod, but headed before Yod. So I know it's back this way. So it's Aleph, Het, Resh. There's an Aleph, Het. Well, here. Aleph, Het, Resh. Now li listen closely, because quite a few times. Now, the, the benefit of Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew Chaldee Lexicon is that you can look up the word Achrim, and it'll show you every place the word Achrim is used. You can't do that with Strong. You have to know what Strong's means, and if you say, well, it means behind, or other, it's translated as other. You can look up the word other, and they'll tell you that it's the word Achrim, but if this word Achrim is, is translated as something else, you won't find all the way so, that it's used. So I mentioned about the word Shabbat. It might mean when you return. But if you look at the word Shabbat, you'll only see the word Shabbat. You won't see all the times Shin Bet Tav is used, meaning when you return. So that's where Brown Driver Briggs. Does Brown Driver Briggs take you back to the where it is? Where each yeah, they'll word tell you is? where it is every time it's used. Oh, wow. And sometimes there's a lot of words, and sometimes there's a few. But here's the thing. Eric, I think that the um, there's a download called The Word. And you can do the same thing with it? I think you can do that. It's called the word. the word. It's like eSword, only it's different. It's oh. another type of... I haven't been using the computer at all. Everything is mm -hmm. literally... The only, somebody asked once in a while, what are all of my resources? I'm showing you my resources. <laughs> there's the meaning of the letters. There's the Hebrew Tanakh, and all I do with the Tanakh, I like the stones because... I don't, I don't agree with the translation because of what I've been finding, but I like the format of how they show you the Hebrew. It's just nice and clear. They make a bigger version with the JPS? Of that. Because I only have a JPS. A friend of mine has a JPS, and I, I just don't personally like the format. It's just the publisher's style. Mm -hmm. It's the same words and the same okay, letters, good, good. but the I'll print is a little different. If you want to. And, and I can like, but I can read this print a little better. But <clears> literally, <throat> what I do, you find the word here, and you write it in paleo letters. It's the same. I happen to write it here, so I know what it is. That's Exodus 20. It's the same letters. Okay. It's like print and <coughs> So it's the same exact letter. I mean, it's in paleo because I, I can think differently when it's in paleo. This is in modern. So I read El Ket Resh and I write El, El Ket Resh. This is in modern, that's in paleo. The only difference is turn around and do that. that that's all. Okay. So I look at it in there, I use the dictionary, and I know what the letters mean, and that's it. Brown Driver Briggs comes in handy, Stone's or Strong's Concordance comes in handy, but, but literally, that's all. Anyway, this is what Aleph Het Resh means. Now, Yahweh, look it up. He repeatedly is offended by Israel regarding Elohim Achrim. Really just fries his hide, as you might say. He, oh, guys. Okay. To remain behind. Mighty ones that remain behind. It makes no sense. To tarry. Slow, Elohim. Delay. To cause one to delay or keep back. Postponed. El do not, this is the word ye ye. Yod -he -yod -he. Now, if we were to write yod -he vav -he, that's a pretty similar word. Yod, hey, Bob, hey. Well, that's his name. But what's Yod, hey, Yod, hey? Hey, I am. Excuse me. I'm sorry. The hey, Yod, the hey, Yod, yay is I am, and the Yod in front of it. Um, yeah, that's the I am. Well, see. It's a Hebrew word to be. It's the root of the verb to be. Yeah. That's the point. To be, or to exist. Now, the yod as a prefix is the hand that works, or which makes, or causes. So the word is translated, don't make for yourself, or don't, at your own hand, cause there to be. But there's no cough here. 
The kaf is over here, which that the letter lamed means unto, and the kaf at the end means you or your. So it's translated. This is no, or that's that's the negative, the not, which means no or non, or not, or don't. Don't cause to be, cause to be, or don't make, make, or don't exist, exist, or don't exist, don't put your, don't put unto yourself a hand that causes to exist. So hey bob hey is is a part of the verb meaning to exist, but so is hey yod hey. When he says let there be light, he's saying lo yehi yod hey yod. That's word light to exists. be. Light exists. It's the same type of root. So what I'm saying is that, that without knowing this, you read it in English and they use all different words. When you start looking at the Hebrew, you start learning which letters paired together are what substance. But again, like that picture with all the letters around the Nun Samic, it's like the swarm of electrons. Don't think that you're trying to pin it down exactly. You're trying to get the feeling. You're trying to get the picture. So if you want to know what a yod is, read all these things from here all the way down in the blue. And then a hey, read all these things in the orange, and you'll get the feeling of yodness and hayness. I'm not trying to say this is the law, this is, this is exactly what I'm saying. This is the feeling that I got from all this study and trying to put this stuff together. Like this swarm of electrons, which is why I invoked the notion of quantum physics. It's like it's this feeling of kind of the swarm around the center, but the center is like the invisible elephant. It's like, I'm not doing this somewhere, but how do you define it? All we have is the bet. We have a, what looks like, and we can infer, like inferring the architect of this house by what he made, inferring by the handiwork of the heavens who the creator was, that's the best we can do. But anyway, what else does a car mean? Another, other, next, or strange. It means other. So gods of others. Oh, that's where they get other gods. Well, is it gods of others or is it other gods? You can find translations of both, but there's a big difference. Other gods are not necessarily the gods of others. They might be your own. But there's two different ways to translate, which means that I know that the translators have no idea what this means. All they can do is say, achar means other, or next, or strange, or delayed, or postponed, or tarried. But maybe it means the deities which retard your personal development. Maybe it means the deities which are going to stumble you and cause you to fall behind when you should have been progressing on. Well, who are these guys? It also means after, behind, or afterward. And achar as a prefix means post, post-war, that which came after the war. Now, achri, if you had a yod, this is plural. But if you just look at the word achri, this is the benefit of the dictionary. It means responsible, liable, a guarantor. Somebody who stands behind another, an underwriter, an insurance agent, an insurance company, is one who stands behind indemnifying you for a loss. That's that word. It also means somebody who comes later. Yahweh says to Israel, here, I'm your Elohim. You recognize me. I'm the guy who took you out of Egypt. I'm the guy that spoke to you at Mount Sinai. I'm the guy who talked to your ancestors, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. That's me, Yahweh. If there's another Elohim that comes later, a stranger who you never heard about, that your forefathers didn't know, have no regard for that. Responsible. Ahrom, last, later, next, the behind. The future, achrot, otherness, achri, behind or after, achriot, surety, warranty, responsibility, liability. Achrit also means end, posterity, future, and remnant. <laughs> achri, with a, without the yoga, just aleph, chesh, resh, tav, means otherwise. And then you jump into aleph, chet, sheen, so, okay, we jumped out of the r's, reshes into the sheen, so... I just read you Akri. Now, here's another thing we can do. Because I want to know what this is because repeatedly Yahweh is really incensed. 
and his people going after these guys. The reason I'm looking this up is because, do we know Abba's heart? Oh, he knows my heart, but do we know his heart? His heart is that he doesn't like these Elohim offering. So I'm going to look up Aleph Heth in the dictionary. Aleph Heth. Ach. Brother. Kinsman. Friend. Friar. Like Friar Tuck. It's a, it's a monk. Oh, brother. You know, it's your brother. Ach is also a fire port, a brazier, and a fireplace. It also means woe or alas. It's also an eagle, and it says, uh, comes from a, uh, another type of language. Acha is my brother. Siblings, Achaim. Achad is one single, first someone, someone you're one with. Achad, Aleph Dalit, is that word, Yawechad, which means one, to make one, to unite, combine. Aleph Het is someone who's combined like your brother. One, one of your fellow guys. But what is Het Resh? So we look at Het Resh. There's a Zion, I'm going for Het, there's a Het Bashin, I'm going to Het Resh. Het Resh Kaf, Het Resh Yod. I'm showing you that you, you, know, you got to learn the Latin, you got to flip through and find it. Het Resh Yod, Het Resh Tet, Het Resh Zion, Het Resh Hay, Het Resh Dalit. Het resh, oh man, see het vav resh. All this work to say, go see het vav resh. Now why is that? <laughs> and I'm trying to show you something. Because the benefit of this dictionary is that every once in a while, one of these words will say, just go see the other one. It's the exact same thing. So one of the things I try to say is that when you stick a vav in between here, or a yod, like up here, it doesn't necessarily change the word. It's like adding a wild card. But it's not in scripture that way. It's not in scripture that way. And when I first saw Strong's Concordance and they did this, I was really disturbed. You're looking up one word and you look at Strong's and there's a word spelled with five different letters. Only one.